Hello, I am Joel Clark, an artist from the UK, and I live just outside of Oxford. Well, I work in the rather unusual medium of hand-cut vinyl, which basically involves working with my trusty scalpel. Uh, the rolls of vinyl you can see piled up behind you. And really it's a combination of creating a collage from hand cut uh, coloured shapes which I can apply to whatever surface vinyl will stay stuck to. Uh, how do I do it? I look for images which I can break down into interesting shapes or blocks of colour, uh, which obviously uh, I can work in vinyl with because it's a slightly limited colour palette. Um, and then I sit and just stare at the end of the scalpel blade, making sure I don't slice the end of my fingers off. Uh, so the funny thing is, I actually started when I was 16, uh, when I left school and before I started or before I knew I was going to go to art college, I worked for a sign company where we produced uh, the vinyl stickers for a lot of racing teams at Silverstone Circuit, where this was back in the day before there was a computer to cut out any logos, so they all had to be cut by hand. And in the space of a couple of months, uh, kind of took to it like a duck to water. And then spent uh, six years at art college, went on to work as a creative in advertising. And in 2015, um, the idea to use vinyl um, as a medium uh, finally convinced me to try and make it as an artist. Um, so really about five years ago is when I went full time. Um, there are two main influences, at least from the art world. Um, first being David Hockney, uh, just Whatever medium, subject or style he turns his hand to, he masters it in his own unique approach. And of course, his daring use of, of colour is probably the biggest inspiration. Um, but then also the craft of, say, Jeff Koons, who uh, I, I, I'm just absolutely blown away each time I see a piece um, if as I said if nothing more just for the the craft and, and the amazement at how on earth the thing is produced or made uh, always inspires me if not leaving me a little deflated thinking um, that that's how good art really can be Uh, the two pieces being exhibited will be uh, Gas Station, which is the artwork uh, on the Porsche 911 bonnet, which I was sat in front of a couple of questions back. And the second piece is Concord People, which was behind me on the wall in the previous answer. So Concord has the most obvious link being the still most elegant, uh, quickest and probably coolest way to travel distance. Uh, the second piece, um, it, it's well, it was based on a road trip through uh, central France last summer. Um, where an old abandoned uh, 
petrol station was found. But what I liked, it was kind of taking that, well, let's say cliched Americana imagery of the long open road. But this just had a European twist on it. And then especially applying the 80s aesthetic um, to the piece, which was part of a three piece collection from last year. Um, yeah, that, that felt like it summed up distance to me, um, being a fan of the open road. And oddly enough, it was also a long distance relationship. So that sort of put another spin on it. Uh, so yeah, I think all of them fit the bill um, quite well. Uh, I applied because for once I actually had some pieces of work which I felt uh, fitted the brief perfectly. And of course, all exposure is most welcome. And I haven't actually exhibited any work for, well, I didn't remember, uh, January of 2020, I think. So, yeah, that's about the reason why. You'll be able to find me online on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, just type in joelclark.artist. Uh, for Instagram, which is probably my most active uh, platform, just look up at joelclark.artist. Uh, otherwise, um, I'm sure you'll see my work through the Lacuna Festival. And thank you for viewing.